Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Here's a verse of the day, 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 7. So, for God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. So, Paul, here in his little letter to the church of the Thessalonians, is uh, speaking on sexual purity. And, you know, real quick, he gives four reasons for, you know, Christians to be sexually pure, to be you know, to, you know, basically save themselves for marriage because sex is for having children and for married couples. Um, that's what I believe. That's not what the world believes. Um, I believe it is something that, you know, God made it enjoyable so people would actually want to do it. It wouldn't be a slog. Um, <clears throat> but the world's kind of taken that and ran with it. It should be for a married couple to have children, you know, procreation. So anyways, the first um, reason comes right before that. It's because the Lord is the avenger of all such. Uh, this is the first of four reasons for sexual purity. We can trust that God will punish sexual immorality and that no one gets away with this sin, even if it is undiscovered. So, you know, I still struggle with, uh, you know, with some types of sexual sin, you know, masturbation, you know, stuff like that. It's not something that just goes away when you become a Christian, you know, it's, it kind of comes on stronger when you become a Christian. It's something, you know, sin comes for you harder. I think Satan comes for you harder when you're, when you're against him. You know, I've, I've heard people say that if I think it was Denzel Washington or something, I don't want to quote you quote him, but, uh, some along the lines that if the devil's coming for you, you must be doing something right. Because if, you're not doing right, he's probably not going to come after you because he's going to be like, oh, good old boy, keep doing what you're doing. Not going to leave, not just going to leave him alone and let him do whatever. So, you know, God will punish sexual immorality. It doesn't get easier when you become a Christian. It's not like you're holier than thou and completely pure thoughts and everything. It comes on strong, but you got to fight it. So, and then the verse that I focused on, for God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. This is the second reason why Christians should be sexually pure, because of our call. The call That call is not to uncleanness, but to holiness. Therefore, sexual immorality is simply inconsistent with who we are in Jesus Christ. So, Jesus, who we follow, is the most pure person to have ever lived. And, you know, that's a fact. So... We're called to holiness. This does not mean be holier than thou. You know, do not be like, oh, I'm so holy, I'm better than you. But we have to be holy. We have to be pure people. And, you know, not just with sin, but just showing love to others and just being good to other people. So we got to be holy. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God. The third reason for sexual purity is because to reject God's call to sexual purity is not rejecting man, but God himself. Despite the petty ways many rationalize sexual immorality, we still reject God when we sin in this way. So you're falling into the world, you're accepting the world. You know, technically, a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So, you know, the third reason is you're not rejecting man by falling into sexual immorality. You're rejecting God himself. So we are called to God. Don't reject him with that. And then the final reason, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. This is the fourth of four reasons given in this passage. We have been given the Holy Spirit, who empowers the willing, trusting Christian to overcome sexual sin. By his Spirit, God has given us the resources for victory. We're responsible to use those resources. So God gives us the Holy Spirit, you know, and we need to use it. We need to use that to be pure, to be, you know, moral people and just utilize what God has put at our our handle to to defeat sin and everything. So trust God and those are the four reasons for uh being away from sexual purity or sexual impurity, sorry. Um so thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day. Peace.